Hey y'all, this is Kelly at Crochet My For Life. How are y'all today? Well, I thought I'd get on here on this Wednesday and uh, show you some of my whip. <laughs> Notice I said whip. <laughs> um, I have some other things I'm whipping, but this is the name one I've been whipping on. And uh, show you a finished project, finished pretty, and uh, show you a couple of things I got and uh, that, you know, I'm uh, happy about. <laughs> Um, a little life update. Um, I've been off work the last, this is my sixth day. Go back to work tomorrow. But uh, Monday we went and my husband had his second heart procedure done. He had another stent put in and that went well. And uh, he, he got to come home that day, although we went at 10 o'clock that morning and it was 7.30 that afternoon before we got home because um, doctor had to spend a little bit more time on one patient and um, my husband was getting a little bit impatient you know until he really found out what was going on um, so uh, we went in at 10 like I said and he didn't he had had anything to eat and he was get, he, he loves his breakfast so he had to miss breakfast and so by three a little bit after three he was starting to get a little antsy but they come in after three and they got him and by four o'clock he was back beside me and it went well. Um, his blood pressure dropped while they were doing it, but they they have to give you medicines before you go in, and they think between all of that, it was just a little little more on him. But he come through it fine, and um, he can go back to work, you know, soon. You know, any time he's gonna take a little time, you know, another week or two or more. I don't care. Um, you know, he can take as much time as he needs it. But uh, that spot on his arm looks really well, you know. Um, and uh, it's not black and blue this time. So he's just he's just really thankful that he's got that behind him now. And, um, of course, that means he's got to keep going. we got to go next Monday to a primary doctor. And uh, there's lot, probably lots of things they're going to want him to do, too. He's not going to like it, y'all. He's not going to like them colonoscopies and all that stuff but you know what it might save his life so um but yeah we we go back next monday to a primary and but i just wanted to update you on that and um uh, our little dogs they're getting along they've um boo boo is starting to warm up to peanut a little bit and then peanut ticks her off but um peanut's really hyper although she's um she's asleep right now she went off back to sleep if i can there she is. Boo Boo is across the room, so I'm not going to show Boo Boo. I'm probably done mess this up a little bit. Sorry if you move. I've moved around a little bit. So anyway, but we're getting Peanuts getting used to us. And we're getting used to her, and uh, I have decided that she just don't like to sleep with us at night. She likes to come in there and kiss all over us, and then she's right back in this living room in a chair. And uh, I've been getting up in the middle of the night, taking her outside to potty. But uh, she's doing pretty good with all that. You just, you just can't not forget her. You have got to let her out. <laughs> so that's that's going better than I expected, honestly. She's had a few mess ups, but it's okay. So let's go on to other stuff. Um, I uh, I got a book in, like I said, and I wanted to show y'all. And some of y'all probably have pre-ordered and got it in too. But it's this book, y'all. It's by um, Sarah Zimmerman at Repeat Crafter Me. And she put out a video showing, she was so cute yesterday, showing a box of books that she got. And she showed some of her um, in projects, you know, she showed them. And they are all really, really pretty, really cute. And I'm just so excited about this. Um, I love the first book, Cute Critters, and uh, Crochet Cute Critters, and I've made a bunch of stuff out of that, so I was really thrilled to get this. And she has, um, she has them in sections. She has uh, Forest Floor Friends, Treetop Dwellers, Riverside Animals, Insects, Nocturnal creature, creator, Critters, and Bonus Patterns and Scenes. But here is uh, just a few of them right there. Let's see if I can, I can show some more. Like I said, she's got them in sections. 
I showed this whole book once already, and then the dogs start barking, and um, I had to start all over. So I'm not very, I'm not good at all the editing stuff. I was going to say if she show them all at once on this, but she's not. Let's see. Let's see if I can just do that quickly. All right, here's Forest Floor Friends. We got a fox, a moose, a black bear, and a bunny. And uh, you use uh, Red Heart yarn or any yarn, probably any yarn you want to. Uh, a lot of people don't like Red Heart. I like it, although I did get a hold of a skein that I didn't like. So, uh, but mainly I work with Red Heart. Mainly I work with Mainstays and Big Twist, and I like Premier Basic to make critters with. But there's the bunny. Um, here's a hedgehog. Here's a deer. Ain't that cute? And you know, in the last book, she, and you've heard me say this before, she would put a chain one at each, at the end of each row. I don't do that, because I always have the seam. So I just join them in continuous rounds. Here's a wolf. I love that. It's a lot of things that are uh, in this book that I wanted to do, to do, and it's all packaged in this one book. And that's just what's so great about this book. Here's a mouse, which that's another thing. And her patterns is just so easy. I mean, it's very, very easy for a beginner. And um, I recommend it already. Here's a bear. Because I recommend it because her first book was so good. So I know this one's going to be. And uh, that's my favorite book, Cute Creators. And I know this is going to be. It might become the favorite too. Here's a moose. This is Treetop Dwellers. We have um, an owl. And the hook that she recommends for all these is an H hook. And a lot of these patterns are just intermingled. You know, you can just change out the parts. Hence the bird. The blue bird. I love blue bird. But see, do different things and you get these kind of birds. A cardinal and a... I'm not sure what the other one is. Here's an eagle. Here's a squirrel. Now, if I make this squirrel, I'm going to do something different right here. I'm going to add a, something else, you know. And that's fine. You know, it's fine to uh, make a pattern work for you like that. Chipmunk. Um, here's the Riverside Animals and Insects. Okay, we have a otter. Another favorite. We have a frog. That's what was on the list. We have a beaver. I love that. Y'all, I got so many critters back there. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I was thinking about taking a bucket to work. And just if I say a kid that comes in and I think they might like something like that, say, here, pick you out a critter. I was thinking about doing that. Here's a mallard. A mallard duck. Look at his little body right there. Here's a butterfly. I love those colors. Here's a caterpillar. And you can just add what kind of colors you want to. You haven't got to use those exact kinds. Here's a ladybug. The ladybug says it's um, mm, approximately 3 inches tall by 8 inches wide by 9 inches long. 
Nocturnal Critters. We have a fox. I hope my battery don't die on this phone. We have a raccoon. Like I said, a lot of these are, are things I've been on wanting to do, and it's all in this book, and you cannot beat that. It's well worth it. A bat. And if you're wanting to take things to market or whatever, I would like to do that. I think I would like to do that, but gosh, it would take me so long. <laughs> uh, some people go every week to market. They make a little living on that. Just a, you know, just a little side hustle. It would take me forever to make enough to make them to have a market. I'd be 55 or 56 before I even have a table for them. There's a skunk. That's what I want to do, a skunk. Mm, and here's the bonus bonus patterns. You see the tree house and the mushroom? That's the bonus pattern. Let's see if I can pull that up for you. And the tree house is 12 inches tall by 10 inches wide, including branch. So, and then the uh, mushroom, five inches tall by four inches wide. So, great book. I think it's well worth it. I think, I don't even know, remember how much I paid for it. There's Sarah. So, great book. So I've talked 11 minutes. I got to get on. I got to go through it now. So um, I wanted to show you also that I have a lot of yarn in there that needs to be stored sometimes. I'm always constantly shuffling around. But I got this off Timu. And it's a big old bag thing. Storage thing. And it has handles on it. And it's zippered up. Um... And it's hound's tooth, roll tide, even though we ain't rolling very well right now. Roll tide. So, but, um, comes like that. So that's what I got my, all that Chanel basic, you know, my little, um, yarn that I made my little cats out of. I got that. And I want to show y'all that. And I got these little bags, and I'm addicted to these little you know, things you can get at the re re reusable bags. And I got this one at the Dollar Tree the other day, and, and I really needed it. But it was just a dollar. And it holds a lot. So, that's tie-dye. So, sucker for these bags. These make great little yarn storage bags and stuff. So, I want to show y'all that. And, uh, but that's my little acquisitions. And, um, I wanted to talk about my finished project uh, my finished pretty uh, I've been squirreling a lot um, you know I got my goat my goat still in this bag I ain't touched it no more and all I like left is some pajamas and uh, I mean the overalls and um, maybe the arms and horns and it's just sitting in this bag waiting for me so I got to get back to that because I squirreled I seen Miss Cassandra at Craftably, Craftably Ever craft, craftably Ever After. She had put out a pattern. And um, it's on Etsy, and I'll link it. But she put out a rainbow bear pattern. So I had to download it, and I made me a rainbow bear. I made mine just a tad bit different because I was um, had so much on my mind, you know, and I ain't felt good. And I just just took me a little bit longer than it should, you know, in my mind, you know, especially not the pattern itself, okay, I got that part, of all things, this part, <laughs> and what I decided was, I would just cut down the muzzle, because I don't know, my tension or whatever, it's a different yarn than what she uses, this is like a four weight, I think she likes to use the cotton, which it turns out so pretty when they do that, excuse me, but I don't have a lot of that. And I just use what I got. So I use this. This is a mainstay. No, not a mainstay, but a big twist. I don't know the shade. 
think it's a big twist. For sure it is, yeah. And um, this is a, a I Love Less Yarn in whatever color that is. But I made the little cowl and I made the, the little tail in that. And this is Mainstay White and this is a Mainstay some kind of pink. And I put some little, her, his little, her little smile right there. But anyway, as I was saying, I had trouble with this part. So what I did is I just, I had replaced it like three separate times. I'd put it on, do it, no, take it off, redo it. So what I did was I just didn't make as many rows so it would fit between his cheeks or her cheeks, which I think is absolute, I've never done that before. I love doing that. Uh, and then I struggled with making the little heart. You know, so what I did is I said, Kelly, you have some safety noses. Just put a safety nose on it. So that's what I did. I put a little safety nose on there and I made a little smile and then I put the heart on a purse. So that's what I, how I did mine. And I, I really like this and I'm going to make it again. But I just had to do it because she puts out her little bear. She's the bear queen. Uh, Caroline at Caroline for the Love at Crochet. She's the bunny queen. Well, Cassandra is the bear queen. And she's not, you know, so. I was going to say bear princess, but you're a queen too. I don't know, I like that saying, bear princess. Anyway, she's the bear queen. So, she dates, makes such pretty little bears, you know. And I just, I just love that. So, that's what I did. And, um. I enjoyed it. I really did. So I wanted to show that. That's my finished pretty, y'all. And I'm proud of her. So, um, but then, you know, I, like I said, I scrolled off the goat. The goat's still in the bag. So Miss Cheryl, hey, Miss Cheryl, at Cheryl's Creations, seemed like lately I'm just copying because she'll show something. I said, oh, I got to do it. So she showed some otters, not otters, some sloths. So I had to go buy the pattern off Etsy. And so this is what I'm working on now. And it's on Etsy. It didn't cost very much, I don't think. Maybe five dollars. But um if I can find a picture. It's by Your Love Toy, and I'll try to link it down there. So I downloaded the my printer is all jacked up. But there's the sloths. So that's what I'm working on. And it's all in this little lunch bag I got off Tamu. I love this little bag. I took it to the hospital with me. But so far, on my little Whit Wednesday, I've got the arms. I've got the feet. Where's the feet at? The feet are smaller. I got both feet. I got the body done today. So now all I like is the head and attaching it. So very quick very quick you know i got to make the little fe eye features and all so i'm enjoying that and uh i um i ran out of yarn and um that's all that i got left so i said oh lord i gotta go back in there and dig so i'm hoping and i'm praying when i think it is it's cafe latte so i found this on the top of the thing and i think Thank you, Jesus. You're watching after me. I didn't have to dig. It was right there. So, I was just tickled over that. So, now I can t continue on tonight after I get supper done. I got to start on supper in a minute. What at time is it? It's after five. I think we're going to have spaghetti tonight. So, yeah, that's all I got. So, I, I was so thankful. That's a crochet lottery right there is when you can find something right off the bat. Anybody know what I mean? But this is a Teemu lunch bag, and uh, I'm using it for my little parts. And I got my had my little pattern in here, you know, and it's got a zipper thing, and I'll, it's got a, a thing right there. But I did notice, I don't know, I really didn't realize the importance, because I don't go nowhere, uh, of having a little uh, to-go bag. You know, with your scissors and your stitch markers and, you know, everything you think you're going to need. I had my row counter and I had my hook, my pattern, and my yarn. But I didn't have no scissors. But lucky for me, I thought about it because every day when I go to work, I take a box cutter. I had that box cutter in my back pocket. I 
somehow or another, I thought, you probably need to put that in your pocket. You never know. And Lord, how mercy I needed it. So that was there to cut my little yarns the other day. And Charlie said, you need to put that up. They're going to throw us out of here. <laughs> I said, well, I still will slip it back in my, my pocket. You know, he's playing with me. But so anyway, I love that little daisy bag. And I ordered me another one. I got it over here. I'll have a, maybe I'll have two different projects in it. So I love that. So that's what I did. That's what I'm doing. That's my whips. And uh, Miss Cheryl, I'm copying you. You show a pattern that uh, interests me, and um, I have, there I go. You just you just enable me, sister. And I can't wait to see your little yarn room all finished. Oh, uh, I'm just going to enjoy watching that. So I wanted to show you um, a pattern I um. See, I downloaded Miss uh, Cassandra's uh, Patchy Bear. I did print that out the other day. I managed to get that printer to work for a few minutes there anyway. But this is a Feather Life Friends Mix Match Lovey. And I don't know if I got influenced. I can't remember. I get influenced so much. But these are lovings, and I want to try that. And I, I, I got this pattern off of Etsy, too. If anybody's interested in that, just let me know. I probably will go ahead and link it anyway, but I want to do that. So, because I got uh, some people I know is having babies, and I need to work on that for them. So, I guess that's all. I know I'm probably going to miss something. Um, you see my little area back there. It don't look clean, but I did go through and clean it up the other day. I wish I had got more done on my six days off. I got a few things done, but honestly, I just wanted to rest this knee and see if it got any better. And it has improved a little bit, but not much. It's something going on with it. It's not swelled up as bad today, the last few days. But I go back to work tomorrow, and I'll be on concrete for eight hours. Uh, I know it's going. I'm gonna be poor me when I get off. Um, I bought some Brooks shoes. I thought, well, maybe these shoes might help. But and I, I wore them for a few days. And then one day, I could not wait to get them things off of me. It felt like I was walking on an egg crate. You know, a old crate or something. And um, so I don't know. It's my body. It's all it is. It's this weight and everything. But y'all know. I know somebody out there watching me is hurting and aching just like me maybe in different areas and you just have to power through it as much as you can well it's telling me I got to power my battery up so I'm going to hop off of here and I hope I will be back soon to talk to y'all and uh, oh and I did send my squares to Miss Lanann so at uh, Nina's Knots Crochet so um and quack quack Mad Mimi is going to have to make some more <laughs> but anyway I'm going to hop off of here and um and work on some supper or something so I can go back to hooking. So y'all take care and uh, I, I'll see y'all pretty soon, I hope. Bye, y'all.